I guess this means that the summer must be just around the corner. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Taste Test Tuesday. It has been a minute since the last episode, but I bring it back today with a very, very exciting one. Today we're gonna try some uh, candies which aren't even in the stores yet. You may or may not remember that towards the end of the year, 2019, I tried the 2020 Futsa box and they have come out now with a 2020 summer box. So inside here uh, are some candies which I guess will hit the shelves uh, in a couple of months time, ready for summer 2020. And for those of you who are interested, you can get one of these boxes yourselves. It was something like 20 euros from the Fatsa website. I'll leave a link below if that's something you're interested in. But today, I'm gonna try these out for myself. I ordered this probably like a month ago, uh, collected it a couple of weeks ago, and now I'm finally getting around to filming this video. So quite honestly, I've forgotten completely what is inside here. So let's crack it open and see. Okay. Okay, when we open the box, we are greeted with the, the same little piece of text. This box makes life taste a little sweeter. Hashtag Futsa Candy Crew. This time there's a little sticker which says, lifesavers so then if we carefully peel that back we will see now what's in the box oh here's the little card yeah same greeting as the last one lucky you this box is full of new sweet things which no man has seen before unbox and enjoy okay so i'm gonna go through these one by one uh and I might as well start at the top so the first one that greets me when i open the box is this one this is the tutti frutti exotic fruits. So on the back of the pack, we can see all the different flavors. There's watermelon, lime, uh, banana, tutti frutti, sour pomegranate, sour lime, um, sour mango, and sour cocoa. Pretty happy with that little flavor selection. And exotic fruits, that's definitely in keeping with a little bit of a summer theme. So I'm all for that. So this will be, oh. That smells incredible. Kind of want to like just have that taste. All these flavors combined into one sweet and I want to have it. Or a drink, like a, a summer cocktail or something. Just all those flavors mushed together and I want, I want that in my face. That being said, I will try each one and let you know what I think, but this is going to be like a speed round because there's a lot of these and we've got a lot more candies to get through. So, speed round. First one, sour pomegranate, yeah. Quite sour indeed. Subtle flavor, not my favorite, but okay. Tutti Frutti, not sour. It's your general kind of mixed fruit flavor. Pretty good. Next, we got the banana. Mmm. No, that was sour lime. I was like, that tastes actually pretty sour and nothing like banana. Yeah, quite sour and uh, citrusy. This is the banana. I'm not a huge fan of banana flavored sweets. I always think it tastes a little bit fake, a little bit synthetic almost. This isn't really any different. A little bit on the fake side, but okay. Yeah, I want the watermelon. Mmm. <laughs> it tastes like watermelon candy, but not like a real watermelon. I'm not the biggest fan of that. And this one, I guess, is the coconut. Oh, yeah, that's coconutty. What a surprise, Dave. Hmm. I think that was all of them. I oh, know, sour mango. I'm not sure if the mango one actually tastes like mango. It's kind of hard to tell because it's sour at the same time. But yeah, I thought they were pretty good. Um, would I buy these again? Probably not. Uh, just because I'm not a massive fan of sour um, candies and the non-sour ones. Oh, kiwi. The non-sour non ones are not my favorite flavors like watermelon, banana. Mm, take them or leave them. And the kiwi one, not bad. The yeah, Tutti Frutti Exotic Fruits. Uh, that's gonna get a two and a half out of five. Okay, next one out of the box is this one. This is pretty exciting. I am a big fan of Kismet. I think it's uh, the perfect combination of like chocolate and wafer and it's quite light. And this one of course is a remix. So this one is the Fruit and Salmiak remix. Now as a professional, of course, I went ahead and bought a regular Kismet so that we can battle these head to head. But let's give this a try and see what we think. The smell, hmm, maybe a little different. I haven't ever had a regular Kismet in a, a long time actually. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna open the uh, original as well, just so that we can kind of battle them as we go. 
Yeah, I guess they smell a little bit different. Okay, interesting difference actually first, which I've noticed on the wrappers. The uh, Remix one says wafer with grapefruit and salty licorice flavored filling covered with milk chocolate. And the original one just says um, crispy wafer with nougat filling covered with milk chocolate. You can see the unmistakable layer of salmiak there. And I guess this more yellowy one is the grapefruit filling. Let's give it a try. That's actually quite a nice combination. You definitely taste the salmiak, you definitely taste the fruit layer. That was pretty good, actually. I like that a lot. Um, I will just try the original one as well. And here we can see actually, the top one is the regular and the bottom one is the remix. I'm finding it quite hard to decide which one I prefer. On one hand, I am quite a traditionalist. I do like my simple candy bars. Uh, but on the other, this one actually tastes pretty good. This is a nice take on the uh, on the original. Uh, I like the, the combination and this is gonna get a three and a half out of five. And now I find myself craving some milk. <laughs> and just so you guys know, you actually get two of these Kismet remix bars in here. So this is gonna be safe for a rainy day. And we're in Finland, so there's gonna be plenty of those. Okay, next we have this one. This is the seasonal edition of the Dumle uh, candy, uh, which is a taste of smooth strawberry. Uh, and I am a big fan of strawberry. I really like strawberry stuff. So I have a feeling I'm gonna like these. Now like the true professional taste tester that I am, not at all. I do have an original Dumle to try side by side. Not getting anything from the smell from the packet, but let's whack one of these open and see. So packaging wise, slightly different than the original, of course. This is pink with little strawberries. Original is just red. Inside they look exactly the same. And yes, I think I know which one's which. I guess there's a slight smell of the berry or strawberry or something going on here. The taste is exactly like that of which you get in the like Christmas boxes where, you know, the chocolate has this little little strawberry filling, it's exactly like that. But it is quite subtle, and that's what I like about these seasonal editions and the, the remixes of the Dumle, is that they keep the Dumle taste, the original taste, but just add a little sprinkle of something different. I like that, I like that it doesn't completely change the taste of the Dumle, and it just gives you something different. Now once again, I am a big fan of the original Dumle, so it's gonna take a lot to to beat it. That being said, we are not pitting these really head to head, uh, but if we were, the original would win. But on its own, the taste of smooth strawberry is really good. Uh, this is gonna get a four out of five. Okay, next, a miniaturization. Generally, I'm not a big fan of making things smaller, uh, but I guess this kind of makes sense if you put more into a bag. So yeah, they have shrunk the yim bar. Is that how you say it? Do you say it with a y or a j? Probably a y, I don't know. Let me know in the comments, is it Yim or Jim? They have shrunk this down and made miniature versions and put a bunch of them in a bag. And as you've seen, I do have an original. Let's see if they taste any different once they've been shrunk down. I doubt it. Okay, so inside they are not individually wrapped. I'm not sure why I was expecting that, but they are not. Yeah, I mean, they, they smell exactly the same. Okay, so here is the original and here is the mini version. So you probably get what, like uh, one, two, three mini, mini ones to an original bar. And taste wise, are they banana flavored or something? I don't, I didn't remember that. Exactly the same, confirmed. Okay, yeah, chocolate and fruit flavored foam filling. Try and say that after a few beers. Fruit flavored foam filling, fruit flavor, no. But yeah, essentially exactly the same as a regular size gym, just uh, lots of little ones in there. And I guess there's, mm, I have to count, aren't we? There is two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, including the one that I took a bite out of. Which, if my calculations are correct, would be around about six regular size bars. Of course, I don't know what the retail price of this will be or whether it's cheaper than buying just six bars. I don't know, we'll find out. Now in terms of score, I'm not a big fan of the flavor of this, to be honest. It's a little bit banana-y for me. It gets a two out of five. Okay, two left. We have another bag of the Tutti Fruity. This time it is a 
Chewy Fruits Sour. And once again, here on the back, we can see all the different flavors. We've got sour pear, sour pineapple, sour tutti frutti, and sour passion. So there are just four kinds uh, in this one. And in this one, we had two, four, six, eight different sweets. Okay, once again, real fast taste of all of these. Okay, sour passion. Mmm, quite nicely sour, actually. It's not like blow your head off sour and it's not like, uh, what's this? It's just that right middle ground. Don't like the passion flavor though. It's a bit perfumey for me. Pineapple. <laughs> yeah, that definitely tastes like pineapple. I wonder if it's the sour coating that just makes the, it twists the flavor a little bit maybe. It makes, it just tastes a little bit, yeah, perfumey is the only way I can describe it. But let's try the sour tutti frutti. Mmm. That one was my favorite so far. And the sour pear. Sour pear was actually really good. My favorite out of the four. Sour tutti frutti, number two. And sour pineapple and then sour passion. Now, as I said earlier in the video, I'm not the biggest fan of sour candies. That being said, this was actually a really good level of sour for me. Again, I wouldn't buy this necessarily, but uh, I wouldn't be mad if it was at a party and I grabbed one. So these Tutti Frutti Chewy Fruit Sour are gonna get a two out of five for me, but those of you who like sour candies, you'll love these. Okay, so last one in the box, sadly, we have come to the end, uh, but the last one is a classic Carl Fatza bar. And this one is milk chocolate with raspberry and licorice crisps. Now, of course, at this point, these Carl Fatza bars with slightly different flavors are nothing new. Uh, but of course, this is a new flavor coming out. So licorice and raspberry. Be interesting to try this. Okay, so when you get the bar out, it kind of looks a little something like this. And I don't know if you guys can see, but you can see little bits of red dots and black dots in there. So you know, you know, you know something's up. Now with all these different flavors, I, I find it quite hard to enjoy them because I really just love the plain Fatsa Sinanin. I'm, I just love that, that taste, that flavor. But let's see, let's see raspberry and li licorice. Mmm, okay. As soon as you bite it, you get a crunch, which I, I don't know why I wasn't expecting it because it says, uh, milk chocolate with raspberry and licorice crisps, which suggests that there might be a crunch coming. It's good. The flavor's good. I'm just not sure if I'm a big fan of that crunch. But of course, after two, three, four squares, you, you kind of get used to it. <laughs> now, in terms of the flavor, you definitely get more of a licorice taste. The raspberry's there a little bit on the sidelines, which I'm not too sad about. Usually, if there's raspberry in a chocolate, It'll be a, bring like a little sourness to it, which I'm, I, I don't really like. Instead, this kind of goes down the salty road. Uh, and then you get a little bit of the sourness from the raspberry at the end, but very, very nice. It's like sweet with the chocolate, sour a little bit with the raspberry and then salty with the licorice. It's a, it's a pretty, pretty hard thing I'd imagine to balance, but they've done it. They did really well. The only thing I would change about this is the crunch because Fatsa Sinanin for me is just this smooth, silky chocolate. And then as soon as you bite into this one, it's like <coughs> But that aside, it is a, such a, an even flavor, very subtle flavors, and uh, it works really well. So I think this is gonna get a, mm, oh man, is this the best one so far? I think this is gonna get a four out of five. Only knocked off that one point with the crunch, but it's almost there, four out of five. So I think my two favorites for the Fatsa Summer Box uh, will be the Kismet Fruit and Salmiak, and then the Fatsa Raspberry and Licorice. Who would have thought a few years ago that I would choose a Licorice and a Salmiak thing as my favorites? Not me, but anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I guess these will all be out this summer, so you can try them out then, or of course you can get the box yourself. But yeah, that is about it for today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up on this video, and if you are new, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. See ya.